you've done any open source work lately in the last few years, then you've noticed Travis CI for doing continuous integration and more recently Coveralls for doing code coverage. Today we're going to go over how to add Travis CI to your Django project and add Coveralls for your code coverage. First, let's show that we actually have a test running. We just have one test in our home app. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a .travis.yml for YAML file. It's a fairly simple file. What we're going to do is we're going to need to specify the language that we're going to be using for Travis. And then once we do that, since we're using Python, we need to specify a version. Here we're specifying version 2.7. We could easily go ahead and specify 3.3 or 2.6. The next thing that we need to do is add an install section, and this is where we're going to install our dependencies. This is simply doing a pip install and installing everything in our requirements.txt, which specifies the Django version that we're going to use. The next section we're going to look at is the script section, which is what we use to actually run our tests. In this case, we would run python manage py test home, in the command line and so that's what we need to execute using Travis CI. can quickly mention that we have ENV section for environments and we can set up multiple environment variables that we can use in our app. Oftentimes I have environment variables in my settings file and I need a way to specify these in tra for Travis CI. You can also have a second line of environment variables. This actually sets up an entirely different environment from the one of the line before, and it will be tested completely different. Your code will actually run completely separate and in a separate sandbox than the first one. You can also, again, specify multiple versions of Python that we can use. I wanted to show you this because this, this script would now tell Travis to run four separate tests for our, on our project. It's going to run both environments on 2.7 Python and both environments on 3.3 Python. Now that we have our Travis.yaml file running, we need to actually configure Travis. What we need to do is we need to go to travis-ci.org and log in using our GitHub account. I'm already logged in and I have my project set up as episode 25 under the Go Django organization. I have access to this so I need to go and activate it on Travis CI. To do that we're just going to go to my profile page and then I'm going to switch to the Go Django organization. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like my project is in there, so we need to click the Sync Now button to sync back with GitHub and get an updated list of all my repositories. This actually runs, I think, every day, but we need it now. So now that we have it listed, we can just click the On button, and it will automatically configure GitHub with a hook that will tell Travis CI to run every time the project gets pushed. Now we need to actually trigger Travis to actually run, and we can do this easily by simply creating a commit and pushing it to GitHub. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our Travis.yaml file to our repository and push that up to GitHub. So we've triggered our build event, and it is currently building and running through the process, and we can see the output in our web browser as it goes through the process. It's actually fairly quick and is exactly what you would see in the command line. Now it's actually finished and it shows a success and our build has passed. The next thing that we need to do is we need to do our coverall support. To do that we need to edit our travis.yaml file and we need to pip and install the coveralls python package. So under our install section we'll do a pip install coveralls and then this requires us to actually run our test again, except we're going to use coverage. And in this case, we're going to run coverage run, give it the source app, in this case home. If you have multiple apps that you need to test, you would comma delimit these. And then we're going to run our normal manage py task of manage py test home. This is going to only run our home test instead of the entire Django framework. And then finally, after that happens, we need to call coveralls command, which will ship all of that information off to the coveralls service. Now that we've made those changes, we need to do a commit and a push to GitHub to trigger off Travis. Final thing we need to do is we need to configure coveralls. You simply need to go to coveralls.io, log in with GitHub, 
And then we're going to go through the same process of syncing our repositories. First, we need to add our repository. We scroll down and don't see our repository, so we just hit the sync button. Now that it's synced, we just click the little on button next to our repository. Then we're just simply going to go back to our repositories and go to our repo and sit here and wait for a second. Now that we've refreshed the page and we have our coverage report, from, which has been automatically pushed our data from Travis CI, we have 100% code coverage for what we tested. You can drill down and look at information about it and then just click on a commit and see the coverage report. As you can see, we have four files that are listed in the coverage report. And then if we'll click on one of these files, we'll actually get to see the code that was run. And each line that's run is highlighted in green. We've now added Travis CI to our project and we're doing our code coverage with coveralls. Both Travis CI and coveralls are free for open source projects and they also have a premium edition if you want to use those in your private repositories.